Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for another moment in time with Tom Morey. We're talking story about Morey, and we're gathering little small short stories of fun things that we remember about him. And for me, he was my mentor and guided me through so many business decisions throughout the years. So I wanted to take the time to get together with other people and hear their stories. Now, in this case, I had lined up Ben Severson, who is a hard one to find, and an icon and just an amazing person of the sport, great writer. And Sol Morey, Tom's oldest son, happened to be staying with me while he was here in California. So we decided that, since they're both from Hawaii, let them talk story. And so I hope you enjoy a few moments here with Sol Morey and Ben Severson. Well, we are just pleased to have like yourself here. There, there must be some um, new feeling within you that Tom has, you know, gone ahead of us into the great ocean. Is he preparing waves um, that you want to go and search out with him? Uh, it's, you know, it uh, just keeps paving the way for us, right? So hopefully uh, you can make it easy for us to get get through those uh, the backwash and the shore break and get on the outside, right? Oh, yeah, so, follow Tom, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, it's kind of what we've been doing for the last, you know, 50 years or so. Um, you know, I, I, I just wanted to say, um, you know, it's, uh, it profoundly affected our life, just the, the things that uh, the bodyboard did. Um, I mean, I met my wife at the Pro-Am in California. How's that one? And then, um, Pro. you know, I, out of high school, I was going to be a lifeguard. And, um, you know, I got a contract from Mori Boogie for 100 bucks a month. And I was like, I'm on my way. I'm going to be a professional. <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, at the time, nobody knew what was where we were going, what it was going to turn into or anything. So, uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's one of those, those uh, situations that don't come along in one lifetime. Um, you know, you just, I'm just lucky kind of to be at the right place at the right time. Um, you know, I had good We're friends. Like, oh, geez. Yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, there was, you know, there wasn't anything there, you know. I don't, I don't think uh, Tom really could have even fathomed what what it has all turned into. I mean, it, it must have been like uh, pretty amazing. I, you know, I kind of wish he never sold the company and would have been able to keep it and and run run it, you know, through his dreams. Yeah. But um, you know, everything's always different in retrospect. Did you ever ride a pipo board? I did. I you know, I, I, I was a Waikiki wall rat. I, I got my first surfboard when I was eight years old. Um, my dad made me swim 100 yards at Manoa Pool before he would let me learn how to surf because there was no surf leashes. Oh, unreal. So, yeah, so he made me a leash out of a, out of a surgical tubing and a slip knot. And that board would go about 30 feet and then come flying back at you. <laughs> and uh and uh so but um at waikiki there's they the guys all pipe boarded and body surfed at the wall before so you know i was exposed to all those different wave riding at that at the at an early age you know i remember you know we were using dive fins and my friend of mine had a pair of green churchills and we're just like whoa wow. i gotta try those you know and uh, but you know we they had the canoe surfers and the paddlers and we had uh, um, guys were doing stand up paddling taking pictures of the tourists so Waikiki was a kind of like a makaha you know we we ride everything uh, depending on the surf the pioneer um, point yeah you know every day the surf, the ocean gives us something to do and so you just have to have all the tools in the tool chest to to enjoy it you know if you're Wow. If you're just stuck onto one medium, then, uh, you know, you're waiting for big barreling waves. You know, when it's small and mushy, you can't get the longboard out. So, um, you know, we try, to, huh? try, yeah. try and play with as many toys as we can. I mean, what do you what would you uh, attribute all these different disciplines, you know, to you have a quiver? Are we are we part of a tribe, an ocean loving group? You know, I, I mean, in Hawaii, you know, I've. I traveled all around the world, you know, in the young early days of the bodyboard. And I mean, you know, being a Holly boy in Hawaii on a bodyboard, you know, there was, 
you know, I, I had to go through a few trials and tribulations just like, uh, yeah. you know, kind of everybody else. But, um, you know, I think once we started surfing pipeline and guys were going like, oh, okay, that's serious. You know, the guys well, are going in there charging. bumping anymore. You stay taking my waves. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, when I first started surfing pipe, guys weren't using leashes. So we'd sit on the shoulder, you know, on a eight to ten, eight, ten foot days, the guys would get cleaned out. You know, there'd be like two guys in a lineup while everybody's out there trying to go get their boards. We'd be, you know, picking up about three or four sets before people started getting back out in the lineup. So that was oh, pretty so you cool. mean like you were on body boogie and you were with a leash as well. No, no, this would be like, you know, when we're, when I was learning how to surf pipeline, we'd be, you know, kind of on the edge. So, you know, like Jerry Lopez, all those guys were surfing without leashes. And oh, so we'd wow. be, I'd be on the side. And then as soon as the big sets would come in, then I'd be like, oh, the whole peak's open. So I was surfing, I was surfing pipeline on a surfboard in high school. Um, oh. Yeah, I didn't really start like full bodyboarding, like as my primary vehicle until um probably 83 84 i mean i was body surfing and i was riding i remember those little the skinny uh boogie boards they had the the long skinny ones when they had the 132s so they had a full size one then they had a, a, a real narrow one so i used to strap that on my moped and uh drive from manoa valley to hawaii kai and surf like um against china walls and go to makapu and that was that would be when i was in eighth grade so that would have been 79 80 maybe earlier than that yeah well i tell you what man you uh sasaki mike all these guys were my my wall hanging posters i was so stoked to have you know you as my my brethren my uncles if you will to look up to how will you guys just you guys emblazoned me to know that this sport was actually just taking off, taking air. And I, I appreciate you, you guys for your stoke, your shared stoke on that. I know Tom wasn't really always a part of that at the same time because the movement of this just moved ahead. But I, I right. appreciate you guys for making the sport what it is today. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, the, the fame that we all got from the bodyboards from boogie boards is, um, you know, it's a bit of a responsibility as well. You know, I'm, I thought when we first started off and, you know, we we're competing, I thought oh, by the time I get to be, you know, my 50s, nobody will remember me. It'll be all the new generation. And, um, you know, I, I still get stopped in the stores or places. I got guys painting my house right now and they they worked here for like five days. And then the, one day they came in and they're like, hey, we know you. <laughs> and they're like, you know, they're, it's like. And uh, so that that, that that responsibility, but that, that's it's respect, uh, right? It's so much respect. Yeah, that's it's uh, you know, it's it touches me every time somebody somebody comes up and says something like that. So that right. Um, well, yeah. We, we want to just uh, thank you for your time. This has been a, a blessing to have you on uh, a moment moments notice, and it's such yeah, a, no. an interim a, a movement into another direction. It's almost like Dad has drop punted this thing in a direction we don't know but we're yeah. on board with you bro we're on we're on board all the way well it's been a good ride and i think it's going to continue to be a good ride um we got some good adventures are coming our way and we'll stay stoked and stay healthy and uh, i love you guys